Question number P6. If the price of onion is increased by 25 percentage, find how much percent family must reduce the consumption so as not to change the expenditure of family on onions. Okay. Suppose the price of onion is 100 per kilogram. The price of onion is increased by 25 percentage, which means 25 percentage, which means it increases by 25, so it becomes 125 per kg. The family does not want to change the expenditure on uh, onions, which means they do not want to spend 125 and are only able to spend 100 rupees. So to bring back the expenditure from 125 to 100, the change here is 25 and the current value is 125. So to find the reduction in percentage, all you have to do is to divide 25 by 125 into 100. You will get 1, 5, 5 and 100 gives 20. So 20 percentage is the answer. Option B is the answer. Now suppose the question was, if the price of onion is uh, decreased by 25 percentage, find how much percent family must uh, increase their consumption of onion so as not to change the expenditure of the family. So again, let the price of onion be 100 per kilogram and the price of onion decreases by uh, 25 percentage which means the value is 75 after reduction. So now 1 kilogram costs only 75 and they want to spend 100. So the difference is 100 minus 75 divided by the current value which is 75 into 100. So 25 divided by 75 into 100 which will give 1, 3. 100 by 3 is 33.33 percentage. So the family has to increase the consumption by 33.33 percentage to counter the change in value of onion. I hope you understood the solution. You can solve this question in other methods too, but I think this is the simplest of all. Let's move on to the next question. Question number P7, income of J is 30 percent less than that of B. So let the income of B is 100 and income of J is 30 percent less than that of B, which becomes 70. 30 percentage of 100 is 30, so 100 minus 30 is 70. Then how much percentage is B's income more than that of J? B's income is 100 and J's income is 70, so 100 minus 70 divided by. The question is to find the percentage change with respect to J. So divide by 70 into 100. So 100 minus 70 is 30 divided by 70 into 100. 0, 0. 300 divided by 7 which will be 4 2 0 2 6 0 8 4 0 5 42.85 percentage so b's income is a 42.85 percentage more than that of j question number p8 j spends 25 percentage of his income on food so let's j's income be x so for food, he spends 25 percentage of x, which means 25 by 100 into x. For education, he spends 15 by 100 into x. And for rent, he spends 20 by 100 into x. 20 percentage of the balance he spends on clothes. So for clothes, he does not spend 20 percentage of his income, but 20 percentage of the balance after he spends on food, education and the rent. So what is the current balance? To find the current balance, all you have to do is to add the expenditure and sum and find the difference from income which is x. So x minus 25x by 100 plus 15x by 100 plus 20x by 100. After all this expenditure he is left with 10,000 rupees. So this is the balance after he paid rent and now you have to consider his expenditure for clothes. The expenditure for clothes is 20 percentage of this balance which means his savings is 80 percentage. All right. If he spends 20 percentage of this for clothes, which means he has 80 percentage remaining. So all you have to do is to multiply this with the 80 by 100, which will be equal to 10,000 rupees. So let's simplify this equation. X minus 25X plus 15X plus 20X is 40 plus 20, 60. 60 X by 100, all multiplied into 80 by 100 is equal to 10,000. So that will become 100x minus 60x is 40x divided by 100 into 80 by 100 equals 10,000. So x is equal to 10,000 divided by 40 into 80 multiplied by 100 into 100. 
divide this by 4 you will get uh, 2 5 0 0 divide by 2 again you will get uh, 1 2 5 0 again divide by 2 625 divide by 2 you will get 3 1 2 point 5. So when you multiply it with 100, you will get 31250. 31,250. Option A is the answer. Question number P9. Present population of Hogwarts is 500,000. 5 lakh. At the end of 2028. So at the end of 2028, this is the number of people. And it grows at a rate of 10 percentage and 8 percentage during 2029 and 2030. Find the population at the end of 2030. So this is successive increase. Successive change. The initial value is uh, 5 lakh multiplied by 1 plus increase is 10 percentage. So 10 by 100 multiplied by 1 plus increase in 2030 is 8 percentage. So 8 by 100. If for example in 2031 the increase was uh, 20 percentage then all you have to do is multiply it by 1 plus 20 by 100. Solving this you will get 500,000 into 110 by 100 into 108 by 100. Another method would be uh, let the initial value be 100. It increases by 10 percentage which means the value become 110 and in 2030 it increases by 8 percentage. So 8 percentage of 110 is 8.8 .8. So you add it up, you will get 118.8. So instead of doing these two multiplication, all you have to do is 500,000 multiplied by 118.8 divided by 100. You will get the same answer. Uh, the answer here would be 1188 into 5, which is 4440 4, so the final answer should be 5940. So 5 lakh 94,000 is the answer here. You can check using both mother and confirm. Pick the easier method out of these two and uh, stick with it. I will pick the second one because it involves only one multiplication and, and these kinds of representations can be used in different kinds of scenarios. So I will be sticking with this.